guys, I am back with the third and final album for my um, 2012 American trip. Whew, it's been a journey. It's been a three year journey, 180 layouts. But it's done and I'm really happy to share it with you. So you've seen this recently, this is the title page I made and I left the title pages to pretty much last to make. And again, it's picking up on the camera, the globe, and the plane that I've used as an embellishment theme throughout these albums. So here is just a picture of my boyfriend with our little hire car that we had. And um, we took the wrong turn um, down this really cute little place. So we did stop and take a picture. And this is then our other road trip, which is where we went. Um, to Vegas so again lots of road shots and I love these because even though there's not much in them you know there's the senior in the background and like the big trucks and stuff I don't know I just like how it how it looks um, I love this page this is using like a border of sequins and I've done this one on my head on magpie blog posts and this is just talking about um, the gift of this trip that my boyfriend gave me and how grateful I am. Again, looking funny with really short hair. <laughs> um, so again, and that just works with this kind of page. Again, this is a filler page that I've done really recently with cutting out those photos. Really love that. Um, again, this is just some photos that you know we took with me and my boyfriend. And I love this kind of peachy theme one um and let's get some stitching on here so even though it's not particularly to do with the holiday it's photos from the holiday and same with this one <laughs> love this again lots of like these big buttons used these jelly jenny bowling buttons i believe they were and then some big flare and different bits and pieces and i love that and i love this is kind of when i was first getting into that sort of background stamping but i was still doing the twine thing Again, lots of pictures um, of kind of like just going into Vegas and the sights. Pictures from the strip. And again, I just, you know, none of this is kind of like startlingly amazing stuff. This is quite an old layout. Um, I kind of done quite soon after coming back. And it is the Bellagio Gardens. And it was Chinese, it was coming up to Chinese New Year when we were there. So. I've got lots of pictures of that and again of course there was um, some detailed shots that I've just paired with it here and I love that again more just filler shots and like on this one I then got just one of those ready set go cards in there just talking about how I feel about Vegas and how it was overwhelming and not really my kind of place but in there and again this one was from a magpie blog post when i was making cork embellishments using the chamel dies again this is just a picture of um little new york and a lot of this distressing was on here but i've just added distressing and put an apple on there as if in the big apple and i've used one of these frames again these fabric frames i love those so again a lot of vegas is um filler pages i'm apologizing you can hear noise outside people are turned up how dare people be outside um so yeah there's like a filler card in here but then lots of just pictures of vegas which is why i said um i haven't take i didn't take a lot of pictures when i'm in vegas i didn't go out on the strip and that because i have all these photos i don't and there's no point retaking them um the reason i've kind of really included all these because it was my first time in vegas so it was my first time seeing all this and it was kind of cool and overwhelming etc so they're all in there here is a picture of my boyfriend on the slots um and again i had this um chipboard and i can't even think where it came from and it says winner winner chicken dinner and i had saved it and i knew what <laughs> when we were going there i wanted to use it on this layout um so that was gonna happen whatever um here's just again a little funny page of me and my boyfriend making funny faces as we were overtired and in vegas and really wanted to know not have to do like the drive back to um la but we did um and it was worth it to see the um the bellagio 
fountains, which still amazes me this time we went. Again, I loved Coral a lot during this album, but I haven't scrapped with Coral lately, so I think I might have to address that. And again, this is just, um, this is not a great picture because it's kind of like blurred, but it was actually a nice picture of us. We weren't making silly faces. Um, so I've called it the dizzying heights of Vegas because, you know, Vegas is really busy and that in the background. And again, I have a camera and a globe. So kind of keeping that theme throughout where possible. Um, this one is, I, again, I love the title on this one. All hail Caesar, general of salads and slots. And this is just a few kind of camera shots. And they're not great shots because these were taken on my iPhone, which was not great. But it captures a memory, it captures a time. So I'm cool with that. And again, lots of photos, night photos of Vegas. Loads of pictures of the Bellagio um, fountains. You know, it's one of the things that I really, really want to do. This is a more recent one as well. This was done pretty much when I was doing those studio layouts and um, when I was doing a lot of stuff with the Punchinella and the Amy Tan collection. And this is some of the monorail art um, around Vegas. And I love these kind of weird people. They were kind of creepy but kind of cool. So I took those pictures and just had to scrap those. Again, this Vegas snapshot one is pretty recent. Uh, this one is then kind of like after we came back from Vegas, um, we're kind of like the tail end of the holiday. Um, so we went to Michael's, and this is talking about the pilgrimage to Michael's. Um, I love that. I did put this journaling sticker here, um, and I was going to journal on, but even my biro wouldn't write on it, so I ended up writing down here. So I'm aware that looks a little bit weird, but. And again, I've used one of those fabric frames. Um, here is a picture of our shoes enjoying the sunset. I've told the story many a times, but my boyfriend lost me. I'm still saying he lost me because I didn't move. Um, we were sitting on the beach and, I don't know, we'd had a little bit of a not if but he was like i'm gonna go and walk off i want to go and look up here and take some pictures and i was like yeah but it's the sunset and he's like i'll only be a minute like three hours later he turned back up running around i had his shoes <laughs> i like he had my phone oh it was it was just ridiculous um so yes i took a picture of our shoes enjoying the sunset together assuming we didn't um and i wrote i like again i took the colors from the photo on this one and yeah i really like this i like I'm, i must try kind of more more kind of like calmer colors um so yeah and, I'm, and this i love this little like memories are so sweet cherish them love the moment quality memories and good times it's all a little bit tongue-in-cheek because it really wasn't <laughs> This again, as I had a layout about shoes, is another one just talking about the shoe trade because I did end up leaving those shoes um, in there and he brought me a brand new pair of Vans because the ones were falling apart. This is where I do talk about the fact that I had to wait <laughs> a very long time. It's called the long wait. This is a big um, cut file. I love this. I love this. I think it's an Amy Town one. Anyway, I love it. And I've used this overlay, which is go on an adventure. Love that. Got the camera. Got some. I love this page. I love that background paper. I think with some fancy pants. Yeah. And like, there is a little bit of journaling about how. Um, no wait. I don't need to write loads about it because we're never gonna forget it, and I'm never gonna let him forget it. So that is in there. Then I'm just taking some pictures when we're on Venice Beach and. Um, yeah it was some this was like a little bit i got him um a picture at sunset um before we walked off <laughs> um and yeah this one here is just about having a paddle in the pacific ocean i really like this this was the heavily influence i think when i first started watching nicole jones because she used to kind of block off her backgrounds this is just using a whole hell of a mix of papers um and kind of a picture of the lifeguard station which just reminded me of Baywatch. <laughs> um, this is then Sunset and Palms because they had loads of chance to take pictures because of course my boyfriend had wandered off. <laughs> so again lots of pictures here and there is something on that photo but that's okay. Um, so yeah just loads of sunset pictures and who could not, I didn't want to scrap them all but I couldn't not include them. 
There's some pictures then that my boyfriend did take before he wandered off. And I'm already looking slightly pissed off, which is quite funny. Um, so yeah, beautiful pictures of the sunset. Um, and me just pondering there. He took them when I wasn't really knowing. And so I've just journaled a little bit about that. And again, I love this camera stamp from Amy Tan. This is another layout using lots of Amy Tan stuff, using her stitching, templates, lots of stickers and kind of like creating, um, yeah, a kind of cluster down the middle really. I don't know, it's, mm, I kind of want to move it all over now. It's just some pictures of me and my boyfriend's shadows, more sunsets, more sunsets. Um, really like this one this is actually um not a pattern paper it's um a paper that i painted myself just with some hearts and i done some stamping over it um with the title california dreaming because i had to include it in there somewhere and i love this and i love this background paper that i made uh this actually has some hidden journaling this bit does pull out um and again i've got cameras i have globes and i have planes kind of went throughout the album um and it's titled i left my heart in the sun and a lot of this is the last year's um simple stories summer collection and this one was a recent page that i done and it was just to finish up this album and um reflecting um on the american trip before we went on our new one so this was this was kind of kind of quite a recent one and again i have cameras I have planes and I have a globe and what I may do is I think I may because again like, this is just a blank on here I may kind of maybe I don't know if I'm still scrapping in like I don't know how however many it's I don't know even like 20 22 which will be like 10 years from when we went I may be I may do another reflection page and kind of talk about what memories are still sticking out from that but this is kind of like my top 10 memories um of that trip and that is it guys that is the albums you can see there's a whole mixed bunch of styles in here there's loads of photos there's loads of stories and moments captured and i love it i really really love it i could not say enough how proud i am that i have completely finished it um i'm not one of those people that puts loads of pressure on myself to um finish albums and but when it's like a holiday um i think you need to scrap it while memories are kind of still alive and alert and in 2012 it was the year my it was kind of like my boyfriend my boyfriend and me got together in 2011 we've known each other previously um for about four five years um in 2012 we done um america we done barcelona and we done paris so there was lots um within that i think i've also done scotland myself that year so I've done lots of traveling in 2012 and i'm so happy that i now have all of our trips from that recorded and the memories are there so super super happy I hope you have enjoyed um, the flip through. If you have got any questions about anything in these albums or you want to particularly maybe see a photo of one of the outs in particular, do just let me know and I will see if I can do that. But yes, that is it. So now it means I can scrap my first pictures from the 2015. Um, I have shared my Project Life layouts that I made, um, but that's the only pages that I've let myself scrap. I haven't scrapped any other photos. So I now have a, I have a deal from um, Photo Box, so I'm going to go and do an order of about, probably about 300 photos I reckon to get me started. I don't know, I'll see what other deals are on there. Because with this I got all of my photos printed, then I put them in the order I, want, I decided which ones I wanted in photo pages, which ones I wanted um, as layouts. So yes, I will... I will see. I'm not I'm not sure how about printing wise what I'm gonna do, but yes, that is it. The albums are finished, they are going on the shelf, and I am super super happy guys. So I wanna thank you for kind of like keeping with me through the journey at the end here. And I know like a few of you have said how you're excited to see how I'm gonna document um my new trip 
and I think from this um, albums I've learned a few things I want to do I want to keep that theme of the same kind of iconic images um, and again I think I'm gonna stick with the globe the camera and the plane um, I want to keep some kind of elements the same so I may stamp out some of those um, little US maps and things so I kind of want to make a few embellishments before I really break into the album because even though I've used lots of different papers and collections and there's different styles in here I think using those those motifs have just really helped it appear coherent well I think it does let me know what you think I think it does kind of make it look coherent so guys thank you thank you thank you very much um if you've watched all three of these videos um i really do appreciate all your comments and your love and i will be back soon with some process videos i am now i think i'm actually gonna tidy some stuff up and then i'm going to scrap my first um photo from the states very exciting all right guys i will speak to you all again very very soon 